Hi, this is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to explain what H tags or header tags are and how to utilize them on your website. So let's get right to the point. To begin, I'd like to share with you a really valuable tool um, that is completely free uh, that will allow you to view all H tags or header tags on any website you look at. Uh, so in your Chrome web store, if you're not using Google Chrome, I really highly recommend you do. So at this point, I'm just going to assume that you're using Google Chrome. Uh, you can go to the Chrome web store and in the search bar here, you just want to type in detailed and this should be the first result you get. You're looking for detailed SEO extension. And you, you can see that it's already added for me because I already have it installed. But for you, there'll probably be a blue button here that says install uh, into Chrome or something like that. So once you do that, um, I'm gonna bring you to one of my client's uh, sites right here. And you're gonna look for this D, this purple D up here. And if I hover over it, it says detailed SEO extension. And when I click on that, it's going to give me a lot of really quick information. Um, so uh, this first overview for this video, we're going to be looking at the second option that says headings. And here's a nice layout of exactly H1 through H2 and our H3s on this page. Um, so I want to walk you through this and explain why they're structured this way. Uh, so the first thing I want to uh, I want you to take away from this video is that for the H1 tag and for this it's going to be PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida, right? And as you can see right here, PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida. Uh, that's our main H1 tag and it's very important uh, to remember that each page should only have one single H1 tag always, never more than one H1 tag, because that is telling search engines, we'll just call it Google, because almost everybody is using Google opposed to other search engines. Uh, it's telling Google what your site or the web page is about. Because remember, Google doesn't rank websites, they rank web pages individually. So think about it that way. Um, your website on a whole can have, you know, a, a a domain authority score, which is very valuable. But um, when it really comes down to it, Google ranks web pages, not websites. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, uh, H1 tag, only one H1 tag per page. Okay. When you're going into H2s, think of this in descending order. Your H1 tag is the most important part uh, of the keyword that you're trying to go after. You know, for this client, PRP treatment in Orlando is literally exactly what she does. She's a PRP doctor in Orlando, Florida. This could have also been worded Orlando PRP treatment. Um, on other pages, I've tested it both ways uh, to see what, what works better. And we've gotten uh, good uh, results with both. Uh, so I wanted to now go into the H2s. You'll see H2, we have video reviews for patients who received, again, the PR, uh, PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida. You can see I've included our keyword in there, our keyword phrase, but I've used it in a different way. And I'll scroll to that part on the site here. You'll see that right here, uh, video reviews from patients who received PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida. So uh, we'll look at our H3s uh, underneath here. Um, as you can see, PRP injections is also an H2 right here. And that is going to be right below here. And you'll notice the H3s, PRP microneedling, PRP skin treatment, PRP joint injections for regeneration and PRP hair restoration are all H3s. And I want to explain why PRP injections is H in H2 and the other, uh, we'll call them uh, the sub menu uh, is all H3. And that's really because we want to, uh, we want to categorize things in uh, the order of uh, like a hierarchy, right? That's what really the header tags are. We're trying to structure the page uh, and tell the search engine what the most important things are and uh, break them into a hierarchy. So under PRP injections here, uh, that is our main category for PRP. 
Um, and you'll notice we have, as I already went over in our tool there, we have four different categories under PRP. We have PRP microneedling, PRP skin, and, uh, skin treatment, uh, PRP joint injections for regeneration, and PRP hair restoration. So I think you have a good idea now. Uh, and like I said, think about this page for page. A every page you create, if, you want, if your intention is to get that page ranked, then you want to come at it from this perspective uh, when looking at your header tags. H1, only one H1 tag. H2 should be your, your second most important thing, can be the, the headline of a certain, certain category or simply another phrase that you want to bring attention to that has the, the keyword included. Uh, and you want to bring it in a hierarchy listing. And I don't want to beat that to death. I think I've already made my point across. Hopefully that didn't go too long already. I want to jump now into uh, a staging site I have to show you on the back end of WordPress what this would actually look like and how you would actually change your titles to reflect H1, H2, um, and so on. So like I said, this is a staging site. And so this is not the back end of my actual client site we were looking at. For privacy reasons, I didn't want to jump into her site and actually show you the back end. So this is just, I'm using the Divi theme, as you can see right here, the Divi Builder. Extremely popular. It's a good chance if you're watching this, you're aware of Divi. Maybe you're using it. Maybe you're using Gutenberg or another theme. Every single theme you're using within WordPress, or if you're using like Wix or Squarespace, Every single website editor will give you the option to change your header tags. So as you can see here, I'm going to open up this module settings. And as I click on this statement, we are committed to your health, you're going to see right here on the sidebar, heading one, right? And I can change this to heading two, three, four, five, six. And you'll notice if I were to uh, change this to header two, it'll change in size a little bit. Right, and this can be uh, configured to be any font or styling you want within your specific theme, but I'm not gonna go deep into that right now. I just wanna show you the basic functionality of how to change uh, your, your header tags within Divi or with any other, any, any other theme. It's gonna be very, very similar. Uh, the editor will look different, but the functionality will be almost identical. So I'm gonna put this back to H1. And that's how you would do it. It's very simple. Whatever editor you're using, you just highlight the text you want and just make sure that's the correct heading uh, for you know where you want it placed on the page. I recommend, of course, you have the H1 towards the top of, of the page. It doesn't have to be the very first uh, text on the page. If you want to have another statement there um, that, that's more eye-catching than you're, what you're actually trying to rank for, I totally understand that, but just make sure towards the top of the page, before you use any sort of H2s or H3s, you want to make sure your H1 tag is uh, at the close to the top of the page, right? And, and is, and is uh, actually coded to, or not, you, you want to use the terminology of what you're trying to rank for, right? We want to rank for PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida. So that's why we've used the H1 tag PRP treatment in Orlando, Florida. I'll go to her prolotherapy page as well. And you'll notice that we did this a little bit different. This is not the home page. I used the keyword um, uh, Orlando prolotherapy. Uh, so I'll open up my tool here again. We'll go under headings and you can see H1 Orlando prolotherapy. The H2, what is Orlando? Pro, uh, prolotherapy, right? Not the same exact thing, but I'm, I'm putting her keyword in the form of a question, right? That we can answer and tell Google what is Orlando pro, prolotherapy. Uh, another H2, the benefits of Orlando prolotherapy injections, right? I've used the keyword again, but I've put it in a benefit list, right? So I hope this stuff makes sense. Don't overcomplicate uh, uh, header tags and or where you want to call them h tags or header tags that are the same thing uh, just know one h1 tag per page um, and you want to have your head the rest of your header tags structured in a hierarchy order in in order of importance so I hope that made sense I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be um, 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like my content to show up in your recommended feed on YouTube, you can subscribe. And with that said, thank you for watching.